$46,000. That's the magic number. If Bitcoin can get above that, then we might be onto something even bigger. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Adam, and you're watching Unlimited Options Investing. And the one thing I'm noticing when I'm looking at the charts is we're at a lot of key resistance points when it comes to a lot of crypto. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, and even a lot of the altcoins as well. We're seeing them at those key points that if we can get past that 46,000 point, the ripple effect, the domino effect that would have on the entire asset class could be ginormous. And week after week after week on this channel, I was saying once we broke that downtrend and it was a really rough downtrend over a few months we went down what 50 percent on bitcoin ethereum was down to just about two thousand dollars it was really ugly across the entire sector if you can even call it that asset class whatever you want to call it currencies whatever from a trading aspect simply put it's going up and obviously it's much deeper than that we'll take a look at all of the charts if this is your first time on the channel welcome aboard and hit that subscribe button here on unlimited options investing we talk everything from stocks crypto options etfs we're investing for the long term as always, smash that like button and let's get started. All right, so looking right at the candlesticks Bitcoin on the daily time frame, this blue downtrend, every time we would touch it, we would find supply and then go downward. If it wasn't the downtrend, it was a 20 EMA. So from the beginning of December all the way up to about the 4th of February, remember we posted on the channel, we, we broke through the downtrend, but it wasn't certain yet. We need to see more of a confirmation. We need a previous resistance to become support. We have the doji candle and we continue moving higher now above the 50 EMA opening and closing above it. And zooming out, I'm going to take a line and draw it around the $46,000 mark, which again, we found previous resistance, which back in December acted as previous support and now acting as resistance. If we zoom in and take a look at the four hour time frame, a thing of beauty. So we had the breakout and then when we eventually did pull back, we found perfect support on that 20 EMA. So this morning, the core CPI data came out and it was hotter than expected. But at first, Bitcoin fell from about 44,900 all the way down to about 43,900. So about $1,000 just like that on higher volume. But what happened? Bitcoin then recovered and now we're back above the 20 and the 50 EMA on back to the four hour time frame. We can see that we tested the 20 EMA on the four hour time frame. We actually fell a little bit below it. But then again, we recovered and now we're back above it. Looking at Ethereum, very, very similar story. We, we broke out and then whenever we pulled back, we would find that support on that 20 EMA going up back in September and October of last year. That 20 and that 50 EMA acted as very, very dynamic supports along the entire way up to the peak. And even though we would break the moving averages from time to time, we would quickly find support back into it. Until about mid-November, when that wasn't the case, we sliced through it. We didn't quickly recover back on top of both the averages. And then we saw a whole bunch of chop followed by this downtrend that we had until uh, today, until just about a week ago. And zooming out, taking a look at the daily time frame, we're above the 20 EMA, trying to get back above that 50 EMA. $3,400 mark is going to be a huge point of resistance. It was resistance back in early January, as well as August of 2021, and being support back in October before that big run. So we're quickly approaching a lot of key areas of resistance, and we're seeing this across crypto in general. First one that comes to my mind is XRP. XRP being the best performing crypto over the past week. Although what I noticed when Bitcoin and Ethereum were first breaking out a couple of weeks ago, XRP was pretty muted for maybe the first week and then only over the last few days has it really broken out. And this was something I noticed because as Bitcoin and Ethereum were both approaching their key resistances, XRP was nowhere to be found until right now, where very, very clearly the 90 to 95 cent range is a huge area of resistance. And I reiterate, once Bitcoin crosses 46,000, Ethereum will likely cross 3,600 and XRP will be well above 90, 95 cents, my humble opinion. Other popular crypto, Solana at a resistance right now, even though I wouldn't call this a key resistance per se, it's still near a resistance of about $120. If it's able to break that, then all of a sudden these lows of 90, 85 dollars are going to be a thing of the short term past. Next stop being 140 to 160 dollars. Likewise, Mana or Decentraland, similar idea. We're near a resistance and I would actually move uh, this blue line up a little bit to, to about $3.50 that we got rejected a couple of days ago. And like Solana and XRP, the altcoins are waiting for their bigger counterparts, Bitcoin and Ethereum, to lead the way. Alrighty, and that's the end of my video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, let me know in the comments below. Do you think that $46,000 mark will break or are we just going to find supply and go down from here? Let me know in the comments below. As always, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.